Headline. You know my habitat. I throw bullets. Hassleback. 40. Ja Rule. I put it on him and give him a little more after that. Try me. Hey guys, welcome back to the Speaker on Language Show. And today uh, we'll do a two for one special for Gnome. Gnome is just around the corner. I'm very excited for it. I'm actually going to be in the building for Gnome. Uh, so this is that's kind of what propelled me to do this. Um, this is a two for one special where we're going to rank all the Gnome events from one to 11. And then we're going to take the time to rank the top five Gnome performances. Um, I spent two or three days binge watching all the Gnomes and all the performances just so I can compile a accurate list so uh, I did my due diligence before just throwing on a number of people uh, on the list and I also did my due diligence when it came to ranking all of the events um, a lot of amazing cards so it was kind of hard there was a few cards that were kind of in that that uh, in the same pecking order to a degree so it was kind of hard to to rationale why one event was over the other but uh, hopefully you guys uh, you know what I'm saying appreciate the video you know what I'm saying I spent a lot of time doing it and I hope you guys enjoy it. So thank you. Uh, this is two for one special on the blogger side for top gnome events and also top gnome performances. Hope you guys enjoy. It. Thank you. The first honorable mention when it comes to the top five performances on Gnome is none other than Elbow versus T Top Gnome 8 2018. Uh, this was an action packed event. This was the first Gnome to go on uh, Houston, Texas. A uh, very, very dope event. Um, I feel like Ill Will dominated T Top from beginning to end. Um, I feel like this was one of the more fun ill wills that we've seen in, in his career um the battle started off slow but it will start to pick up each round um and i feel like that deserved to be in consideration uh the second uh honorable mention for top five performances on gnome is av against arsenal gnome 9 uh 2019 a crazy year uh this is probably one of av's best uh big stage performances uh, against a legend like Arsenal. It meant a lot. He had the swag and surf bar uh, in the first round. Crazy first round in general. His second was good and he picked it back up in the third round. Uh, once again, dominated from beginning uh, to end. So I really, really loved that performance. Um, third performance that I think deserves a nod as an honorable mention is none other than DNA versus Ill Will known for 2014 the infamous smack get the F out of here uh, situation and also just an amazing first round with the uh, current event bar with uh, LeBron James and also the freestyling that he was able to do in all three rounds um, the only reason why it's an honorable, honorable mention and uh, not in that top five is just because I feel like his first was really good, but I feel like his second and third was just okay. But the moment made it big enough to where you can kind of uh, give it a nod for honorable mention. But yeah, DNA versus Ill Will is another honorable mention. Uh, official against Jazz the Rapper, Gnome 5, 2015. This was official's coming out party. She was already established prior to being on URL. You know what I'm saying? She had a, a, a myriad of good battles on Queen of the Ring, but this was her coming coming out party this was the biggest match of her career up in that point um and i feel like she dominated uh you know the 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 battle for the most part i feel like jazz did good i feel like a lot of people when you go back and watch uh jazz performances she had a pretty good amount of uh you know great bars and stuff like that and she was also really really consistent but i feel like officials performance projection aggression has kind of overpowered uh jazz's style um in, in that battle but that's another battle that gets honorable mention she kind of set the tone uh you know for the night uh, so that's another battle another battle uh battler that i think deserves the honorable mention 
uh, for top performances are known. But it's none other than Briz Rothstein against Arsenal. Uh, I'm not trying to pick on Arsenal. I know this is the second time being an honorable mention on the other side, but I feel like Briz really dominated this performance. This was also like a huge test for Briz. This was supposed to be Arsenal's last match on URL. Um, you know what I'm saying? Briz came out. Uh, and, and handle business from beginning to end. His first round was electric. His third round was electric. My favorite bar was when he was like, me me and Top are the only people in our class that had perfect attendance. That was crazy. Um, and I don't know if I said this or not, but this was on Gnome 6, 2016. Another interesting year for Battle Rap. So those are my honorable mentions. Now we're about to shift into the top five performances for Gnome. At number five, we're starting off with Big T's performance against K Shine on Gnome 3 2013. Already spent a great deal amount of time, uh, you know, talking about Big T in my first video, so I won't spend too much time talking about this performance. This performance was amazing. First round filled with haymakers, great rhyme schemes, great projection, great performance, just overall amazing performance. And the reason why it's in the top five is just because when you look at who else was on the card that night, Hitman, Conceited, Who Surf, Hollow, DNA, Charlie Clips, Be Magic, it just amplifies it that much more knowing knowing that there were more stars on the card and he was able to have the performance of the night and go against a K-Shine that was red hot at that moment. So at number five, I have Big T versus K-Shine with that amazing performance. At number four, I have Sue Surf's performance against X-Factor on the first Gnome. I feel like this is one of the more complete Sue Surf performances that we've seen in his career. Um, I feel like he delivered in every aspect um, in terms of you know, pacing, performance, uh, you know, great rapping, great schemes, great punches, haymakers, each, like every couple of bars is, is a haymaker. Loved his first round, obviously, with the Midwest movement scheme. Uh, second round was great. Third round was great. And what amplifies this performance is that X Factor was actually really solid in this battle, but Sue Surf was able to match him or surpass him each round. Um, you know, I thought this was a really, really dope uh, Sue Surf performance. And on top of that, this is like his comeback to URL, so that amplified um, the performance that much more, too. Uh, very, very dope performance on the first ever known. Uh, the third uh, performance that I have for uh, the top five is none other than Daylight against Tay Rock, Gnome, uh, Gnome 10 or Gnome X 2020. Before people crucify me for having this at number three, I just want to uh, give my rationale as to why I said number three. When I think of Gnome, I think of the big stage aspect. Um, and the only reason why that Daylight isn't higher is just because I feel like while he did deliver a great, uh, you know, performance, uh, one of the best performances in Gnome history, uh, I do take into account that it was in a caffeine setting. It wasn't on an actual big stage. And I feel like that big stage adds, adds more pressure uh, meaning that it's a lot harder to have like such a dominant performance on a big stage. Um, and I feel like while Daylight's performance was amazing and, you know, he had three excellent rounds, um, a part of Gnome is that big stage aspect. So that's why I couldn't really push it any higher uh, than three. But his first round was incredible. Second round was incredible. Third was amazing. Um, I feel like it was great to see daylight come back to the url and deliver a masterful performance against the gunner of url and against a really solid tay rock performance uh with one of the best tay rock performances we've seen in a very long time um so yeah i have daylight at number three uh for his known x performance in 2020 um at number two uh in my opinion the best known debut of all time uh Av's performance against chess or gnome 6 2016 Huh, just haymakers, <laughs> haymakers from beginning to end. Um, you know what I'm saying? His first stellar, second stellar, third incredible. So many quotables. The the uh, 30 to eat lunch break, the skip to my Lou, the hangman, the uh, come out the uh, cave with the tray like Batman Butler. Just so many haymakers um, in, in this in this in this battle or and from Av. And again, this was another situation where his opponent did really good, but Av was just that much greater uh, in the battle. So that's what I have at number two. And at number one, I feel like this is a no brainer, at least for me. Uh, the best performance on Gnome, in my opinion, is none other than K Shine against Averb Gnome Five Twenty Fifteen. 
uh, the best K Shine uh, performance ever uh, on one of the biggest stages ever. This night was huge. This was Hollow versus Clips. This is Surf versus um, Surf versus Rock. A uh, very very huge night, and I feel like K Shine had performance of the night um, again uh, on a card filled with many many stars. Again, haymakers from beginning to end. The first round was incredible. His second round, when he like left Earth. Uh, even his third was short, but he did enough to even like he did enough in his third to where we didn't feel like he had to wrap another minute or two. Um, so yeah, those are the top five performances uh, that that I have um, on Gnome uh, that I feel like if you want to see like Gnome highlights or if you want to see uh, you know like who performed the best on that big stage, uh, these five performances you can look at. Uh, now we're gonna shift into my favorite part, which is ranking. All the gnomes, uh, you know, what I'm saying from gnome 11 all the way to gnome one. We're gonna rank them, and we're gonna start at 11. At number 11, I have gnome X. Um, this was the first gnome that was placed on caffeine, um, and also during the pandemic. Uh, so obviously that plays a role as to why it's so low. Um. But outside of even those two aspects, I felt like this gnome was very lackluster. Did not feel like a gnome. Um, you know, I felt like the Jaden Nightwing and Fawn's battle was a solid battle. Obviously, wasn't the best battle of the the UM tournament, uh, but that could play a role. Uh, well, a part of that could be, um, you know, them being fatigued and obviously having that two weeks up until up until gnome. Um, so I can understand that. But overall, I feel like that battle was just okay. Mike P versus Saga. Uh, Mike P had a really good performance, but Saga choked pretty much all three rounds, so they kind of watered down the battle. Um, John John and Will didn't go down, so that kind of took away from the card. Gichi Gotti and Averb was actually a solid battle. Um, both of them delivered a really good performance on short prep as well, too. Uh, so I like that battle. Um, Daylight and Tayrock obviously saved the card with, with the battle of the year in a lot of people's eyes. Um, so I can I can understand, uh, you know, like why people feel like the card was solid because of how great the Daylight and Tayrock battle was. Um, but for me, what really keeps the battle or keeps the card from rising up the list is just the letdown between Loaded Lux and Sue Surf. Uh, I really expected a lot out of this battle. Um, you know, Sue Surf had his slip ups and Loaded Lux on the other side didn't really deliver a really, really good performance. It was very lackluster. Um, so when I think of like the worst gnomes, this is like the first thing that comes to mind. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like there was a lot more to be desired. Um, in some of these battles. So that's what I have at number 11. At number 10, I have Gnome 2. Uh, really a, a solid card. I just feel like some of the matchups uh, just were, weren't were like, uh, didn't give me that Gnome feel, right? So like John John Adon versus QP, solid battle, but doesn't really give me a Gnome feel. Uh, JC versus John Cannon is a really good battle, but it doesn't really give me that Gnome feel uh, as well. O-Red versus Big Cannon was a, was a good battle. And I feel like that did give me a Gnome feel a little bit. Uh, Aver versus X Factor was a solid battle. Um, and then Charlie Clips and Big T was the main event. And that was also a good battle too. So those are like a couple of the battles that keep it from being like below Gnome X, but they don't have a battle that's like Tay Rock and Daylight-ish. So that's why it's kind of a debate between the two. Uh, but the thing that, that keeps um, Gnome 2 raising, uh, going further up the list is the fact that Young Ill and Cortez was a huge letdown. Um, and conceded in Midwest Miles was supposed to happen, but it never happened. Uh, so that plays a role too. Um, so that's what I have at number 10. At number nine, I have Gnome 3, which is kind of kind of will be surprising to a lot of folks just because of a lot of the moments that happened on that on that card. Uh, but for me, I just think that it comes down to there not being like any real great battles. I feel like there were great moments, uh, historic moments, but I don't think there was any great battles on the card. Uh, I feel like Hollow and Surf is a good battle, and I feel like it's it's good on the watchback too. But I don't think it was a great battle. Um, DNA versus uh, Chula Jones was a solid battle, and so and so was uh, Charlie Clips versus Be Magic. But I don't think those are great uh, battles. I feel like you're left with a lot of um, good to great moments, but you're not left with any great battles and i feel like that kind of keeps me from raising gnome three and on top of that it's like you look at all these names on the card it's like there's no way that like we should have all these superstars on the card and there's not one classic battle on the card um 
So I feel like that that's what keeps it from raising up the list as well. Uh, so that is Gnome 3 at number 9. At number 8, I have Gnome 11. This is probably the most matchups we ever got on a Gnome card. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of these battles were solid. Um, only a couple of great battles. Uh, so the batting average isn't that great in, in this regard. Um, I feel like BDOT and DNA was a good battle. Mike P and Lukasha was a solid battle. DNA, or excuse me, Danny Myers versus Real Sick was, uh, you know, the talk of the night just because of, you know, Danny Myers dropping the ball so bad all three rounds and Real Sick doing what he did in that battle. Um, Average Jaden Nightwing was just an okay battle. I feel like Av really, really made the battle like better with his performance in his first and third. Uh, Jaden Nightwing had his hiccups and stuff. Uh, really wanted more from the battle, but I, but in general, I feel like it's a solid battle. Um, T Rex versus Easy the Block Captain is one of the better, if not is is pretty much like one A and one B in terms of like the best battles on the card. Uh, really enjoyed the back and forth between both T Rex vintage T Rex in the battle. Easy Easy delivered a really, really good performance in the battle. So really like that performance. Tay Rock and Chilla Jones, which was pretty much the main event. Um, but I feel like kind of got overshadowed by the Gichi Gade Rum Nitty. I feel like the Tay Rock and Chilla Jones battle is actually a solid battle, um, especially on the watchback. I, I enjoy both of their performances. Uh Gichi Gade and Rum Nitty, obviously the 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 major thing of the night drake was there very historic a very great moment in battle rap then you have the day two battles with loso and jerry west which was a okay which was a okay back and forth um and jc versus Fonz was just a solid battle it wasn't great uh you know it's not something that i would rewatch all the time so it was just an okay battle uh, so at number eight i have gnome 11 with all these battles i feel like the batting average wasn't that high you had you were left with a good portion of solid battles but not that many great or good battles in my opinion um so at number seven i have gnome four um again a pretty lengthy card because you get uh miss hustle versus gaddis ill will versus dna john john versus b dollars cortez versus t-rex b magic versus big t um aver versus goods and charlie clips versus tay rock so i'll point out the good first i feel like miss hustle and gaddis was a good battle um aver versus uh goods was a good battle charlie clips versus tay rock even though it didn't really happen on the same night it happened in a different venue that was still a classic battle um, but then the other battles in between, it's like Ill Will and DNA was, uh, wasn't was a good battle, but I feel like DNA made a historic moment, a great moment in his first round to where people will rewatch it because of his first round. Um, you know, I don't feel like people rewatch the battle because of Ill Will's uh, rounds. And, I, and quite honestly, I feel like um, DNA's first round was good great but his second and third was just okay i feel like he did enough to win the second and third but when i rewatch the battle i just think that i really only go back because of that first round um and then obviously john john adon versus reed dollars john john handled reed dollars in the battle reed dollars showed uh you know glimpses of his you know vintage self but overall wasn't that great of a uh, great of a performance john john handled the battle from beginning to end for the most part Cortez and uh, T-Rex was a battle plagued with the time issue. So that took away from that battle. And, um, you know, the B-Magic and Big T battle. B-Magic had a solid performance, a good performance, but he ended up choking in the battle. So that kind of watered down that battle as well. Uh, but the saving grace for this card is obviously Charlie Clips and Tayrock, Aver versus Goods, the moment with uh, Ill Will and uh, uh, DNA, and uh, also Miss Hustle versus Gaddis, which is one of the better um, you know, battles between the ladies uh, of that year. Um, so that is the saving grace of Gnome 4, and that's why it's at number 7. At number 6, I have Gnome 8. Uh, I feel like Gnome 8 was a really, really historic night um, to Surf's return. Uh, you know, um, the first time it's in Houston. Uh, and around the time that uh, URO was taking their, their brand on the road. So it was a very, very huge moment. Uh, Ill Will versus T-Top was on the card. I already spoke, to, uh, spoke about that a little bit, so I won't go into it that much more detail um you know very lopsided victory um we were also given new jersey twerk versus shotgun shug a very very good battle between these two individuals the jersey on jersey crime a uh, shotgun shug delivered one of his best performances of the year in 2018 and same with twerk honestly i feel like this is one of the more complete performances from new jersey twerk on a big stage uh they both delivered uh you know really really 
good performances between the two. Um, really enjoy the battle. I feel like it has a lot of replay value. I love the aggression. I love the moments that happen in this battle. Um, really good battle. DNA versus JC, another solid battle. DNA's first round was, you know, stellar. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't keep up that same uh, trajectory in the second and third. But JC had a really good second and third to kind of steal the battle. But very, very good back and forth between the two. Uh, you know, love, love that battle. Uh, Charlie Clips and Briz Rothstein was one of the few letdowns of the night. Um, I felt like, you know, uh, Charlie Clips and Briz had both had really good first rounds, but the second and third just wasn't that good to me. Uh, I usually turn off the battle around the the um, after their first rounds are done. Uh, before I continue, um, Loso and Scotty took place uh, on this card. Um, it was the PG, uh, you know, a surprise uh, battle on the night. A really dope performance. Loso delivered three good rounds. I feel like Scotty had a really good first round. Um, but overall, solid solid performance from both of them. A solid battle. Uh, we get Goods versus Tay Rock. Tay Rock delivers an amazing first round. I feel like that is probably one of his best uh, rounds on Gnome in Gnome history. Um, and Goods delivered a, delivered another good performance against Tay Rock. Uh, uh, a lot of people consider this battle debatable just because Goods was able to disarm Tay Rock in the second and third. Uh, but overall, I feel like it was a great style clash and also a great battle that I could return to and watch and enjoy. Um, Sue Surf and Rum Nitty was a solid battle as well, um, but slightly underwhelming because of how it ended. Um, I, I, and I would have liked uh, for the second round to kind of keep up that same trajectory as the first round. I feel like they both delivered really good first rounds in this battle, but the second rounds weren't that great. Um, and the third, obviously, Surf drops the ball. So um, overall, I feel like the battle uh, card was really good. I feel like Gnome 8 is kind of in that middle of the pack in terms of, you know, good Gnomes, uh, you know, with the Sue Surf return, with the Loso's debut, um, New Jersey Twerk and Shotgun Shook, DNA's first round against JC. It's just moments that can keep it in that middle of the pack range. Um, now we're at the top five segment. At number five, we have Gnome 6. Um, what can I say about Gnome 6? 2016 was a crazy year. Um, you know, we had Charlie Clips versus Ill Will, which is a really good battle to me. I know a lot of people uh, give it slack because of it. Uh, Ill Will slip up. Um, but I, I like the back and forth between them. Even though I had Ill Will winning the battle kind of clearly, I still thought that Charlie Clips delivered a really good first round, a really good second. You know, I thought he had moments in the battle that were really good. And Ill Will was just really good in this battle. So I like that battle. Um, Arsenal and Briz, I spoke about this earlier. Really entertaining battle. Even though I feel like Briz pretty much dominated the battle, I still feel like it was very entertaining. Um, I feel like they both had something entertaining to offer. Um DNA and Daylight didn't go down, unfortunately, but as a replacement of that battle, we were able to get Av versus Chess. Um, I feel like the Av versus Chess battle was really good and arguably battle of the night. Um, and even with that said, like I know I said that Av pretty much dominated the battle or pretty much uh, took each round. I still feel like Chess had some stuff that was really good and really captivating. Um, I love both of their material. Um, you know, show stealer for sure. Um, Tay Rock and Rum Nitty was uh, in... It's kind of crazy because I know I said Sue Surf and Rum Nitty was a letdown, but this was another situation where uh, Tay Rock and Nitty was a letdown just because there was so much anticipation behind the battle. But I feel like ultimately it didn't live up to the hype. Uh, so many uh, scuffles that happened between the battle uh, that kind of messed up the momentum. Um, so, yeah, I kind of left with like an underwhelming feeling from that battle. Um, but T Top and Sue Surf was a really really good battle i know surf slipped up in this battle but it was still a really good back and forth just the exchanges that they had to, both of their first rounds were incredible i um, set the tone for the battle um but i would have liked uh, to see Sue surf finish that third because he was really heating up in that third but at number five i had gnome six at number four i have gnome five very historic night uh i feel like uh if i'm not mistaken this was the first gnome uh, that was on pay-per-view for URL. Uh, loved the trailer. I watched the trailer every time before each battle of, you know, all the, the fans lined up outside of Irvin Plaza. Uh, I feel like every battle was entertaining to a degree. Um, DNA vs. Sirius Jones was like the best back and forth for the night, in my opinion. Um, you also had, obviously, K-Shine versus uh, A-Verb. I spoke about that earlier. Even though uh, K-Shine won convincingly, like clearly, um, it was still entertaining because his rounds was just uh, so electric. Um, official versus Jazz, I know I spoke on this too, but I still feel like both of them delivered good, good material. And that was also a very entertaining battle. 
Hollow the Don versus Charlie Clips. Um, even though it didn't live up to the hype um, or to the standards that we would have liked it to live live up to, um, I still feel like Charlie Clips uh, delivered a really good first, a really good third, and Hollow delivered a really good first and a really good second. Um, so I really enjoyed that battle as well. Then that was also Tay Rock and Sue Surf. Um, I know a lot of people felt like the battle was underwhelming um, when it first came out, but as time progressed, I really enjoyed that battle uh, a lot more uh, every time I watch it. There's a little bit more stuff I catch um, from Sue Surf uh, um, each time I watch it. So really enjoyed that battle. Overall, I felt like Gnome 5 was a really, really good um, really good card, really good gnome card, historic. Um, it's one of the cards that I think of when I think of gnome. And at number three is gnome seven. Uh, one of the, in my opinion, the most underrated gnome out of all of them. Um, from top to bottom, I feel like every battle is at least good to great. Um, from the from the bottom we have mike p versus new jersey twerk mike p had an excellent performance against twerk twerk also had a solid performance but he had a slip up in the third that kind of messed him up um but mike p's first round was good or great excuse me his second round was really good he finished strong in his third round with the butterfly into the cocoon which was crazy um he did a dragon ball thing in his in, the, in his uh, first round which was dope uh, new jersey twerk's first round was his best round of the night and it was really really good um in that battle you can kind of see that uh you know new jersey twerk is still trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work on on a stage and ways he can refine his style but overall really dope battle love the style clash really good battle um after that you get ab versus shotgun shug this is another good battle shotgun shug delivering one of his best rounds of his career his first round against uh, uh av um and i feel like when you watch this battle back av's material ages much better um, I feel like his first was really solid and his third was really solid as well. Um, you know, I feel like this battle is a lot closer um, when you when you watch it back. But another good battle, in my opinion, uh, you know, you have T-Top versus Goods. Really, really solid battle. Uh, another situation where I feel like T-Top's material ages better when you watch it back. Uh, there were audio issues that kind of messed up T-Top's performance. Uh, Goods came back after uh, a few year hiatus, um, a couple year hiatus. Um, really delivered a solid performance. Um, you know, I had the moment in the second round about uh, these are all the things I think about when you're rapping. Incredible. Um, really like the battle. Really like the battle. Um, next battle, Ill Will versus Briz. In my opinion, the best battle on the card. Um, I felt like they both delivered three great rounds. Uh, I feel like Ill Will started off a little bit slow in his first, but his second and third, he just was was crazy. Briz was amazing, all three. Um, really enjoyed the battle, really enjoyed the aggression, the humor, the haymakers, the energy. It was just an amazing, fun battle to watch. I still watch that battle as if it's new. Um, really love that battle. After Ill Will and Briz, I want to say it's Tay Rock and Chess. Tay Rock and Chess was a really, really good battle. Uh, Chess first round was really, really good. Um, Tay Rock had an amazing second. Um, and what really kind of like kept the battle from being great was, uh, you know, they both had thirds that weren't that great. Uh, you know, Chess started off really good in his third round, but then he took a certain direction and it kind of messed up his his third. And then Tay Rock just delivered an okay third. It was pretty it was pretty consistent. So a lot of people give Tay Rock the victory in that battle. Um, but overall, really, really dope back and forth between those two. Really loved the battle. Really loved the battle. Um, T-Rex and Shine was the main event. Um, out of all the battles, this is probably the battle that isn't the most entertaining, but I still go back and watch uh, Rex's first round, and I still think that Shine's performance in the battle was really solid. So again, another another good, uh, you know, another solid battle, and overall a really good card from top to bottom. I feel like there wasn't a battle uh, on that card that I felt like wasn't, you know, entertaining. Very, very entertaining card. Um, at number two, this is where we start to get interesting. At number two, I actually have the first nine of eight events. So the first ever nine of eight events that um, occurred in uh, 2011. Uh, this featured a uh, Hollow to Don versus Goods as the main event, Young Ill versus DNA, Sue Surf versus X Factor, Kayshawn versus Calico, O Red versus Tay Rock, um, Tech Nine versus Rich Dollars, and uh, Midwest Miles versus uh, Shotgun Chug. Um, 
I'm gonna just keep it short. Each battle was uh, just entertaining, man. Um, a lot of historic things happened on this night. Uh, Surf's return to battle rap against X Factor. Um, Hollow the Down and Goods is a, is a really, really solid main event battle. Um, Young Ill and DNA, you know, Young Ill, vintage Young Ill. Uh, DNA had a solid performance in that battle too. Uh, K Shine and Calico is a classic battle with the old school K Shine and the Calico with the. Um, in Detroit, we ride with it on our lap. Amazing moment. Uh, Old Red and Tay Rock is actually a very underrated battle, man. I think that was a really good back and forth between those two. Uh, Tech Nine and Rich Dollars. Tech Nine was extremely entertaining in that battle. Uh, and Shotgun Shug and Midwest Miles was, you know, a very dope battle for Shotgun Shug. So I feel like uh, this is sits at number two just because there's not a bad battle on this card, um, and it's very historic, man. Like I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't place uh, more than one card above Gnome 1 because Gnome 1 was just so historic. At number one, we have Gnome 9. And not only is this the best Gnome of all time, but in some people's eyes, this is the best event of all time in general. Um, this event was amazing, man. Uh, from the Jack Boy Main and John John battle with the whole chain situation, Pat Stay versus Shook was a really good battle. Um, Ab versus Arsenal, I spoke about that. Still very entertaining with what Ab was able to do in that battle. Um, then you still have Kayshawn versus Rum Nitty, which is a show stopping performance from both of those individual individuals. Um, really great back and forth. Then right after that, you get Sir versus Gichi Gotti, which was a crazy, crazy classic battle. Um, and that's topped off with uh, Loaded Lux versus Aver, which is a, another battle for me that ages better on the watchback. From beginning to end, this event was incredible. Um, one of the best events of 2019, one of the best gnomes of all time, and in my opinion, one of the best events of all time. Um, just amazing from beginning to end. And I don't think we've ever, um, outside of maybe like Summer Impact, I don't think we ever got another um, event that was as great as that since this happened. Um, amazing event. Love all the battles on there. Can rewatch all the battles on there. Um, my opinion, the best gnome of all time. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this was in the spirit of knowing that gnome is around the corner. I love this time of year where you get the gnome and then you get an event in between and you get some madness. Like this is like, these are like the major, major events that, you know what I'm saying, can shape someone's career. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every view I get. I um, hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.